Hello and welcome back to Erbil, the capital of Iraqi Kurdistan here in the north of Iraq. Today I am leaving and heading to somewhere outside of the big city. I'm going to Soran where I'll be staying with a Kurdish family and looking forward to it. They're going to take me to a few places in the area and I'll get to see a little bit of Kurdistan outside of the skyscrapers and big apartment blocks that you'll find here. But also a lot of modernity here in Erbil as well. Lots of cafes on this particular front and shopping centers all around, perhaps a bit more developed than you might be expecting. But uh, anyway, I'm going to hop into my Kareem now and make my way to the terminal, which I'll then catch a small bus or shared taxi to Soran. So I just got out my Kareem there, which came to 4,000 dinar to get across the city. That's around two pounds and Kareem is the best way to get around Erbil as it is Baghdad or any other big city in Iraq like Basra. Just download the app and you can pretty much go. He didn't quite drop me off by the terminal. I have to walk a little bit further as the road is closed. I'm not sure or at least this entrance was closed. Another thing you may have noticed is that I got in the front of the taxi. And this is more of a cultural thing here in Iraq. I'm not sure about other countries in the Middle East, but as a passenger, when you have a driver, it's polite to get into the front. If you get in the back, there is this sort of interpretation that you are my chauffeur and I'm your master kind of attitude that people don't really like here. So you get in the front, it's the norm here. So this here is the Herbal International Terminal building, it looks like. Cafes and some small restaurants around, although most of them are closed. I have no idea where to go. I'm just going to keep saying Soran and somebody will show me the way. I stick out like a sore thumb here with all my bags being a foreigner but uh, we'll get there let's ask one of these dudes Baba, salam alaikum Soran? Okay Soran Looks like we found somewhere. Salam, Melba, Soran. This is it, the shared taxi that we're taking. It's 10,000 dinars, I believe, per person. But to quicken things up, I can actually offer to pay double 20,000, so 10 pounds instead of five, to just leave quicker and not have to scrunch up in the back with someone else. But it depends if uh, one or two people come uh, in the next five or 10 minutes. Let's see. arrived here in Saran. I'm here with Ali who's uh, very kindly hosting me for a couple of days. Uh, my shared taxi has gone but uh, it was just me the entire way. Originally it was going to pick up some people and then in the end I said like I'll pay you double let's go just me and oh, it worked out. Yes. It the shared taxi. It was fine the driver was really nice he stopped to pray on the way yeah. 
and uh, he bought me a bottle of water. He was really friendly, uh, so it was nice. Glad to be here. So this is Soran here up in the hills of Iraqi Kurdistan. Ali has taken my bag, the heaviest one. <laughs> the heaviest one with cameras. <laughs> With all my equipment in, I've got the bigger one, but it's actually lighter. What would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? Kebab, liver, meat, and this chicken breast. I would say chicken breast. And if you want to have anything as well, like maybe we could get one how chicken. Many, how many? Want you only one? Kebab, chicken, and liver. It's not. Oh, it's walnuts. Yes. And then these are just some different like, types of raisins. Like grabs. Yeah, chicken. exactly. Yeah. Okay. This sunflower. Do you normally just snack on them when you're having your tea? No, actually, but if you like it, you can try. We can try this one. Okay. I, you Do you like this one? No, you would like it? Not for me, okay. this one. It's okay. too much effort. Cracking uh, sunflower seeds. Not, I'm not really about that. When I lived in China, everyone loved it, but not me. So we have stopped for some tea post dinner uh, in this kind of traditional looking cafe. You can see the different colors and patterns and pictures here, all to do with uh, Kurdish history. And uh, just grabbing another tea. So, after having some food and tea, we are now here in Ali's home. His father is just sleeping here. This is the guest room, right? Yeah, it's a guest room. And in the middle here you have this kind of uh it's a heater. Yes. It's like it's keeps like the oven. room warm. Yeah. yeah. A different the sort oil. of looking one. Yeah. To I'm used to. Guest room is really large actually. This is kind of a, a uh I mean I've noticed in Iraq in a couple of places that I've been to the guest rooms are really big. But I guess that just shows the hospitality of the culture, I suppose. Do you ever wear the traditional Kurdish yeah, clothes? Yeah, absolutely. Especially the, the pants on, yeah. Right. And Ali's father is yeah, wearing them at the moment. My father is Kurdish. But, uh... He's a good Kurd. <laughs> do you wear them on, like, special occasions? Yeah, or... uh, like, for, like some parties, weddings, yeah. or, like, Muslim, Muslim celebrations, as you know, you have two days. Mm -hmm. and in okay yeah. yeah I noticed that in Kurdish music you always have a lot of children singing yes I don't know. is it like a tradition to do that it's like a school of teaching music is right. Want to say hello? <laughs> Good morning from Soran and after a good night's rest I am heading up this hill which is right in front of Ali's house there and you can already see the view of Soran but uh, Probably it will get even better by the time I reach the top. He and his family are currently preparing breakfast. So I am just uh, heading up here now as he insisted I go and take a look at the view. Now on the top with incredible views 
of the town in the morning here. Ali's house is right there with the blue roof. Also views on this side as well. Really cool to see a different side of Kurdistan to just Erbil. And in the next video, I will be taking a day trip to Chilman and visiting some of the mountainous areas near the border with Iran. Uh, this one is just showing the journey getting here and uh, a little bit of the home life and breakfast, etc. Wow, very cool. I'm so glad I took up the offer as Ali's one of my subscribers to stay with him and his family. Now back at the house and uh, going to have some breakfast now, I believe. This is the room I slept in last night. Oh, it looks good. Let's sit over here. Okay. Salam. Spas. This is uh, cheese. Yeah, Kurdish cheese. Kurdish cheese. And then this is like a gerba. Yes. Yeah. I tried that in Baghdad, I think. The bread is very big. <laughs> yes, and this yogurt, this one. Yeah. Let's try some of the homemade cheese. Mm. It's good, quite sour, quite rich. A little bit like a type of blue cheese, maybe. Mm. Almost everything is homemade, like the bread is homemade, Finnish cheese, a yogurt. It's essentially a proper village breakfast yes. in Kurdistan. Sorry, um, he is your cousin? No, he's my smaller brother. Oh, is your brother? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. But he, I, I didn't see him Yes, much. because he's working in the show. I see. What's his name? Muhammad. Muhammad. Yes. Jason. hope you found it enjoyable and it gave you a slight taste of what family life or home life might be like in more rural parts of Iraqi Kurdistan. I'm going to be exploring, like I said, some of the mountainous areas uh, not far from here in the next video. So stay tuned and also the valley of Rounders nearby too. So that will be on my big camera, not my GoPro because I don't need to be subtle in the next video. I'd appreciate a follow on Instagram if you're enjoying the content and you want to see more stories, behind the scenes kind of stuff, then the link is below. And until next time.